we made it over to John's and we're about to stock it with these bass right here. Yeah, that one. What is going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are fishing some private water. Let's go. Dusty, but we're here. All right, you guys, so we just rolled up to Indian Cave at La Roca Range out here in Santo, Texas, or Santo, uh, one of those, regardless. The place is looking killer, pristine. The clarity is looking pretty dadgum clear, at least right here in the shallows. Tons of trees, submerged trees. This is gonna be off the chain. I think it's gonna be an amazing day of fishing. Pond Boys is gonna be linking up with us soon. You're probably gonna see a bit of a wardrobe change because the thing is, it's getting hot. It was overcast and in like the 60s this morning. We're thinking this is gonna be fantastic. But now the temps are creeping up to the 80s, so I'm gonna be in long sleeves with the hood, the sport wear. And we are about to drop in the hot tamale as we speak, the Ranger RT 188P. For those of y'all new to the channel, that is the model of our boat. We're just gonna go ahead and prep it, put the screens on here, get the garments loaded uh, I didn't know the place was gonna be it hasn't rained in a while it was dusty on the way in otherwise we probably would have had the cover so if you come visit this property with the bass boat maybe just keep it covered until you launch otherwise might have a little dust on the paint there ain't no thing well, let's go ahead and get this thing launched and get to fishing I'm ready for a fun day out on the water with Devin and Torrance let's go all right we got the gear this little red gill shirt is kind of interesting it's got like a built-in neck buff so if you want you can just kind of cover the nose right toss the shades on you can get real serious, you can put the hat on and go fully hooded and check me out. <laughs> That's like SPF 1000 equivalent right there. These are my favorite shirts for the hot days though, man. You gotta have the hooded long sleeves that are breathable. Otherwise, let me tell you what, this heat will get ya. <laughs> oh, this is mushy. <laughs> huh. This should be a little interesting. I'm thinking, well, we can get it in the water. I just don't know about getting it out of the water. That's fine. She's gonna back us up. This is definitely the most quicksand type of ramp yet. Look at where I was gonna go in initially. I mean, it's it's thick right here, boys. Anyways, oh yeah, this is nice. Oh yeah, not bad at all. Nice. All right, got some good grass in here. We're in about seven feet, but I know it gets deeper as we go. And uh, yeah. Give the whole rod and reel a dip. Everything's so dusty. The, yeah. the boat is as dirty as it's ever been. That's our fault. We could have just put the cover on the boat because it is like a mile and a half drive to get back to the water. A very cool property. One of Private Water Fishing's more premier locations. So we do hope to show it off in its best light for you guys today. But regardless, one lake, all yours, all day, totally private. You really cannot beat it. Torrance should be joining us here in about an hour or so. It's a little bit of a drive. It's like west, southwest of Fort Worth off Highway 20. An amazing looking location, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and stop chitter chattering and start casting a line. We got the net ready, man. Let's go. We gotta take the hot tamale out to like a five-star dinner or something for getting her this dirty. This is this is a first for sure. I'm gonna start off with a crankbait, y'all. Cover some water. Devin's throwing a saucy swimmer on the underspin. You know our favorite, but I'm thinking a little crank, a little rattle, something different. Shad, she's throwing the goby color. Here is the rig I'm gonna be working with, y'all. This is that brand new affordable bait caster. This is that $60 Daiwa with uh, not too much line on it. <laughs> but I've got it on the reaction rod and that's why I grabbed it because I'm gonna be throwing this banger and sexy shad right here and a nice reaction rod with that slow tip for treble hooks. So we'll have this thing rigged up in two seconds and hopefully catch a fish just as fast. Got one? Yep. Nice, He's nice. Ooh, little one, little one. <laughs> so at this location, y'all, to keep the fishing prime for the members, you're supposed to remove any bass under 16 inches here. We are gonna toss this little guy in the live well. Maybe even do a little transfer to John B's pond. I know he's looking to stock his place. We might actually end up taking these things over to help him out with his bass population at his new house. That was right in the trees too, huh? I think Devin found the deal. They're probably hugging right up against these trees. If that's the case, let me tell you what, we have so much opportunity. This bite could get crazy today. I'm gonna work a square bill and try and deflect off of some of these. Probably get caught at the same time. But if we lose a couple cranks in search of a giant, that's kind of the cost of doing business, ain't it? Fish number two. Oh, wow. Oh, he came off. No, dang it. Ah. We are about to break out one of the 10,000 fish products, y'all. Check this out, the Headhunter. Whoo, that's right, Bluegill Profile. Let's get this thing rigged up. 
Devin's getting hit on the swim bait, and I know we saw a lot of bluegill roaming the banks over there. This is definitely a prime target for the bass in this lake. 13 feet, this is good. Got him. Got him. Did I scare you? Oh no. Oh great. Golly. You hear that drag? That was cool. Devin was just telling me, let it go all the way down to the bottom, so I let it go. And I was like, oh, I think I just hit a tree stump. And then I felt a second tick. I was like, nope. <laughs> Anyways, my first bite of the day comes on the Crack and Craw natural quarter ounce weight with, Wu well, it's Wu Tungsten quarter ounce weight. And uh, yeah, muscle rod. Couldn't secure the bag on that one. I am tripping. Got him. One's looking at mine. One's looking at the crawl. He's going to take you in the tree. Oh my God, get him out of there. 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 Oh no. <laughs> We're going back. <laughs> Devin's got one in the tree. Well, that's not, that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Uh-oh. Should we net him? <laughs> Don't lose this fish. I think that'll work. Got him. Got him. Netted him. Oh my gosh. We're in the trees. Watch the trolling motor. Oh goodness, we're in the trees. Oh gosh. Watch that prop. Wow, what a catch. Oh goodness. That is how you do it right there. Look at that thing. Second one in the boat for me on that underspin. What a catch, took me straight into the trees. That is going to be uh, something we're gonna have to really watch out for and something that I haven't fished a whole lot of. So it's gonna be a fun day trying to figure out these fish just diving into these trees, trying to lose us. So it's gonna be a challenge, but we'll accept it. I feel like I need a saucy swimmer. Cause like, look at this. Like, we need to get numbers. Yeah, this is a good spot. All right, y'all, the guessing game is over. We know what they want. It is the saucy swimmer on an underspin. So I just want to break this down for you guys real quick. We're throwing the 4.8 inch size. So that larger saucy swimmer. This is actually something new for y'all today. Electric shad. I know, I know. You've probably seen all our spring videos and we always throw this goby color and they're almost identical. The goby is almost like a bluish purple on the underbelly. It's got a little extra flake in there. They both look fantastic, natural colors. And on the top, they are almost identical as well. Just that natural green so you cannot go wrong with some 4.8 inch saucy swimmers so that is the bait and we're throwing it on these heavy metal tungsten underspin hooks that you guys can grab at carl's bait and tackle and so what you do is you just end up twisting the nose of your swim bait onto this guy right here and then you kind of almost like a texas rig just expose that hook in the body so you're weedless and you've got a little flash it almost looks like a school of fish swimming brings them in every time man and that's proven to be the case today as well so it is time for me to get this thing in the water we're just going to tag team it with the saucy swimmers i mean i think i've gotten like four fish in the boat and to your... Yeah, Devin's already got four fish in the boat. I've lost one fish, so that's the ratio right now. Always. <laughs> Whoa, that was, so that was cool. Crazy. He like hopped over the tree to grab it. No way. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Why am I not throwing a saucy swimmer? That was like a top water blow up. Okay, hey. hold, hold tight, hold tight. Oh, how is that thing? He's not bad at all. <laughs> FaceTime and Palm Boys <laughs> with the boat flip out here. That's funny, man. Torrance is on the way. Devin just catches a fish, and I'm like, okay, let's switch this over to FaceTime because I want to show him what we're getting out here. Got him. He had it for a second. I was just trying to feel him out. All right, T rig. I just wanted to uh, try something a little bit different. Broke out the bandito bug. Got this little guy. I guess we're supposed to put him in John's pond. Here we go. Howdy, partner. This looks amazing, bro. It's pretty slick. I ain't seen the hot tamale in a hot minute. I, we haven't had it out in a while. <laughs> if you want, you can rig up out here or it doesn't matter. Slight intermission, y'all. Palm boys just entered the building. And I guess by building, I mean like, let's get that man on the boat and start part two. So swim bait and then what are you throwing? Torrance. Oh. Swim bait? Okay, I'm gonna throw the Texas rig then. Oh man. Why are we not on this pontoon? It's hammer time, y'all. We're in. 32 feet of water right here. Actually, it just went to 27, but regardless, it just is a, a sharp fish. drop. I'm thinking like a deep diver would just crush it right here, but at the same time, I'm throwing a Texas rig and I ain't switching. That was the cast right there. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh I knew you were getting a bite on that one, dude. Damn. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. That was the perfect cast. <laughs> yeah, it's in there. Big, big thing in the step. Oh. Oh, oh my God. It's right off the tree. Oh I hit God. that perfect. I landed on that fish's head. Oh my, look at this tungsten weight. Look at that tungsten weight. It traveled all the way up here to my rod. 
Wow. Oh, like... oh man. Oh. No, no, no. We, we, no. we got him in the mouth. It looks side hooked. It looks like foul play, but it's really not. This little dude's getting removed. Another one for John B's pond. I mean, like, I felt the bite as soon as it hit the water. He was waiting for something to fall out of that tree. Yeah. Got him. Is that on that big swim bait? Yeah. No way. Dude. There we go. Oh! oh! That thing was over four, huh? Yeah. That was pretty big. Yeah. You got me wanting to throw a bigger swim bait. Is that that? That's the new swim bait on the on the owner beast hook, beast owner hook, whatever the hell. No I way. Thought. Smoked it. Swim baits. Torrance just missed a giant on this new six. Hey, let me let, let, let the fam see this thing real quick. It's, it's, it's not on the market. Oh, yet. it's not on the market. Just kidding. Sure, he did not almost I'll catch a fish on anything. Yeah, I'll show there, there. Yeah, that's what. Summer. That's all you get. <laughs> that's a prototype six bait, I think. <laughs> that is not for y'all's eyes to see. <laughs> oh God, oh, dang on the citizen. It. Oh, check your line. Oh, 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 I saw that fish come up and chase it. Oh, 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 that's a bluegill if I ever felt one. There goes my pinchers. Still got him. Got him. Right off the tree. Nice. I was about to say, this square bill is not working, is it, today? But, oh, come on up here. That's better. Yeah, it did look a little, did look a little better. Barely hooked. That's why you want a soft tip rod like that reaction rod when you're fishing those trebles, man, because it's so easy to just rip them out of there if you're using a broomstick. So something like this is absolutely perfect. Y'all can grab that at Carl's Bait and Tackle, as well as the rest of the 10,000 fish baits from today's sponsor. So be sure to check them out. We're gonna toss all these fish in the live well, and we're gonna make sure that we transfer them to John's if they're under 16 inches, or just have a little photo shoot later with like 100 small bass. Yes or no? Yes. Oh, no, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Hold up, hold up. Hey, Torrance, will you grab this net? Oh, you still have them? Yeah. He is like way around that yeah, thing. We're sorry. just gonna have to net him and then like yeah. fix the bait in a minute. Left side torrents. That, that might be a good one right there. That might I'm be a good one. Mine. Get ready, okay, get ready. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Hold on, hold on. This might be tricky. I'm bringing it back up. Okay, I'm just, okay. I still have him. I don't know if I do actually. You got him, you got him, you got him. You got him. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, hold up. I'm going, I'm going, oh, I'm going. Oh, oh. oh no. He came off. Oh. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Good try, good job, guys. Good. Dang. Good job. Part of it. That was funny. Damn. Yeah, that line was all for This is like how much you was afraid from that. God, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Net, net. That's a good one. That's a good one. Devin, Devin, I got to keep it tight. He's not that bad. He's not that bad. He's not that bad. <laughs> oh, oh yes bro. please there we go that's a sizable fish <laughs> yes sir that thing was pinned too that's a fat oh, mama no. <laughs> <laughs> he was almost under the boat like i set that hook up as soon as I, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> he is swimming at you wow wow that's not a bad one at all either what the heck oh Oh, God dang, three pounder, did you see that? Wow, that was not a fish. Turns out I had the whole branch. Yeah, he took me right into a tree, gosh dang it. <laughs> Kinda wanted to throw the Texas rig in now, look at all this. Hmm, what are we doing wrong? Oh no, okay, all right, I'm going, I'm going. He's on. What is going on with us today? Redemption. I do not see him at all. Wait, nope, not on. I saw that. That was no, that was for real fish. But yeah, I mean, piece of sh. I was swimming the trench hog. I just spot locked it for a second so we can hit all this because we're just drifting really fast now. The wind's picking up. Yeah. I don't know. It might be a treat. Oh, that's a four. That's a four plus. He's on the trolling motor. Yeah. He's on it. He's on the trolling motor. Oh no. You're gonna have to. Here, put net him and, and I'll lift the motor up. Net him and I'll lift the motor up. Got him? No, he came up. Go! Oh! Sh shit. Oh! Sh oh. oh. <laughs> so just over three and a half pounder. We will take that one. That is a good one. Whoo! Healthy fish, man, trying to dog us and take us around that trolling motor. You gotta watch your back. They will do that to you, whether it's the stumps or your boat. These fish are smart out here, man. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the well. We're gonna add to our uh, little bag we got going on. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I saw him, he like turned away and flashed. I, I waited for a second. Came back for it, came back for it. That might not be the same fish. Nice, sick. 
Yeah, he'll be all right. No, no, this wasn't, but I think this is under 16. Under 16. All right, dope. Okay, then I will uh, we'll drop these off on the way home. All right, cool. Thanks, man. Of course. See ya. Yeah, this is getting good. Now that it's like skinnier, we can hit the whole thing. Oh, smoked them. They are liking that. Ho, ho, ho. That last oh, one. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> nice one. Dude, that's a sizable fish. Oh, Ooh, nice. double up. Double up. Double. Oh, Heck yeah. First one of the day. They're hitting the swim baits back here where it's getting a little bit narrower, y'all. The skinny water. They are digging it. Is it? Is it a crappie? It's a crappie. Oh, yep. Nice. You throw. Oh, it's one of those black tops. Yeah. You seen that with the stripe on That's top? That's really cool. Last time I caught one of these, I think, was with John B., which is funny. See ya, bud. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a fish. I thought that was a tree. Wow. He's not that big, but he'll do. <laughs> Sick. I cast it, and I'm like, oh, I'm snagged. And he pulled back. I was like, oh, no. Why is this so heavy? Is there a fish? It might be grass. I think it's... Yeah. I don't know. I think it's a fish. He is swimming at us. The hogs are back here, boys! The hogs are back here! Oh no! Dang! He was swimming at me the whole time. I was cranking. Wow. Oh, she's on. Let's do it. Rebate. Hey, Kat. Hey, hey. Oh, ho. Uh, I was like, oh, yeah. Hey. All right. Another good one. There we go. Oh, nice, dude. Hey, mag draft. Mag draft. Yep. Mag draft. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's get you up in here, baby. There we go. Oh, well. Hey, that's how it works, right? The hook set? That's, that's how it goes. <laughs> Yeehaw. Y'all, <laughs> a double up out of nowhere with some sizable fish. You can't make it up, man. Not at all. These guys are healthy, bro. Hey, I'm throwing a swim jig with the uh, Magnum Menace on the back. A lot of guys use the other um, Menaces, but if you use the Magnum one, it just gives a, a bulkier presentation. And then these little tails on here, I mean, you just can't go wrong no matter the swim, uh, the swim jig. But that's what we're throwing. I mean, nailed it. Hard to even get the hook out. We got a good hook set. And, and as soon as you boat flipped it, I felt a little something. And I'm like, oh, I got my mag draft lost. We snagged it. Went for the hook set, though. And check it out, y'all. Eight-inch mag pulling through. They are on out here. Are Dude. you a believer in them? Or? I, 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 well, with the modification. I'll have to okay. show you the modification I made. Because right. before that, that it kind of was a, yeah. The okay. magnets, it's. Got it. I like the mag draft, but you do have to do that modification I hit y'all with in that video yesterday, so. I mean, I just cast in this thing on the open water pretty much. No. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no. Oh, that was a good one. 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 I saw my line kind of swimming, but at that point, it was like kind of in front, so I just had to set it up. We, we like pretty much all switched to big baits. Yeah, I'm using that. If you guys can even hear me, it's the 316 Rising Sun. Uh, I think this is the six inch, and I want to say that's an eight, eight dot owner beast hook. That, oh my god! What? <laughs> he must have came up and smacked it. it. Like oh, I didn't see I it. Saw it. <laughs> I didn't see it. I just saw a little. The black hook set bag. though. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it was right in there. That's where it was. Oh, he ate it. He ate it. As soon as it hit the water. As soon as it hit the water, dude. That was epic. <laughs> what is going on here? This muscle rod is too strong. All right, y'all. We had the boat beach, but it kind of decided it wanted to drift in the tailgate. That's going to wrap up the fishing portion. We are now going to deliver these guys over to John B's, but we've got our top five hanging out just for a couple photos and we're going to toss them back all of them over 16 inches otherwise they are hitting the property y'all we'll catch you over there in just a second let's get these guys back in the water all right <laughs> nice oh my god all right we might have just found out why it's acting up it was saying disconnected because this thing clearly is no longer there <laughs> We broke something new on the boat. That's interesting. No wonder, man. Okay, so it was like the last hour and a half of fishing. All our graphs were going weird, saying like sonar disconnected. So obviously whatever happened 
happened a while ago. There's tons of stumps here. We knew that going into it, so we must have hit something. So we're gonna have to get that bad boy fixed. Luckily, we're taking the kayaks out over the next couple days. We just got the John boat too, so we've got options, but I do need to see what part's gonna replace that in the meantime. So let's go ahead and get this boat out of the water. But because the water is a few feet low over here right now, the trailer's almost bottomed out. It's next to impossible to launch a boat here versus like kayaks or a John boat, etc. I'm gonna now pull this thing forwards, and you should see as we pull the truck a little bit forwards, the boat will rise just a little bit and then we can crank it all the way down as we make it out of here. Uh, you're probably good. Yeah, I think we're good. Just... See, so now the nose clears. That's all you need. <sighs> I think we got it. Woo! Normally the trailer would be like be higher up anyways, that way we don't have to do any adjusting. But certain ramps call for certain methods though when you gotta extract the boat. So we've got it here. The tires are still sunk, so we got it in four wheel, should be no thing. We're gonna get out of here head to John's. Go get your muddy tires. But yeah, we made it over to John's. We're about to stock it with these bass right here. We had the live well running on our drive over. And these bad boys are ready to get to swimming in their new home. I could not be more excited. Moment of truth. There's fish and they're all swimming. They made it. Some of these puppies are like approaching 16 inches too. Like they barely made the cutoff. So he's got some good sized fish. We're gonna put a handful of them in there and call it a night. Gotcha. Let's transfer the first two. Oh, good to go. Move on, buddy. Check them out. Off to your new home. you enjoyed this episode the pond is now stocked and ready to fish holy smokes Torrance lost his biggest fish of the day let's recap Devin lost her biggest fish of the day I lost multiple good fish we broke part of the boat I suppose the silver lining is we made it over here with all bass intact and they are in their new home plenty of bait fish in here this thing grow up to be a mega fishery can't wait to see all the fishing videos John produces out of this place in the near future you guys go ahead and drop a like and we'll see y'all on the next episode peace